What's up YouTube, it's Deja here, channel 21 I'm back with another video, how are we all doing today? And today I will be reacting to my prediction for the Premier League so far because it's about half the season and we'll do one for the end as well guys so I'm going to react and I'm going to tell you if I regret putting them in that position or if I think I'm happy with that position and you know, this is what we're going to do so that we're going to do the half one and then at the end of the season we'll react and I'll also be doing the points and don't forget about Rang, I won't forget about Rang guys um, He'll probably be one for the end one. I don't know. We don't know yet. But since we're in lockdown, of course I can't invite him here or I can't, we can't, can't go out or anything because, you know, COVID pandemic here. And we're going to react to them and I'm going to start with 20. Before we start, make sure follow me on my Snapchat, Instagram and TikTok. I'll pop them right there. And let's do this. So for 20, I put film and they are 18th right now. Seven points behind 20th and two games in hand. So they do have a chance of being 20th. But for me, I don't think they will, unless Sheffield get their back to form. In my opinion, I think I've regretted this one, guys. I think I've just underestimated them too much. So this one's a regret, guys, unfortunately. Not a good start. For 19th place, I put Aston Villa, and they're currently 8th with two games in hand. They managed to get a new striker, which is Ollie Watkins. He's been amazing for them, and they have really turned their last season by coming 17th, they nearly went down, but have improved a lot and they can finish much higher this season than 17th. So this one, without a doubt, is a regret. So for 18th, I put West Brom at Jalbian and they are 19th with zero games in hand. They have brought in Sam Allardyce, who has been a great manager in the past for Everton and all that, and he has not been the best lately. The only winner he's got, I think, is against West Brom, but it's free too. But that's, of course, Wolves are not in good form since Val Jimenez is out. So if they were in actual good form, they maybe had Val Jimenez back, eh, they probably would have won that. And they could do a bit better. But for right now, I think I'm confident that they will finish 18th. They won't finish 19th. And this one for me is not a regret. I am fine with this prediction. And now, guys, we are on 16th. And I put West Ham. And they have impressed me with a 5th place right now that's amazing for them. I don't think they're even going to finish near relegation or near 16th. So this one, without a doubt, is a regret. For 15, I put Palace. And they are two spaces up, sitting 13th. It looks like Burnley, which they are soon climbing the table. We will soon get onto them. And it looks like they are going to pass and possibly uh, Wills who are behind them. So it doesn't look like this one is really, really going to happen. But I do think Palace will stay at 15. I still think they have a good chance. And I think I've kept this choice. I think they do have a 50 50 chance. But for now, I'm going to say this is a good choice. For 14, I put Newcastle, and now they are 16th near the relegation battle, and I don't think that they will sack Steve Bruce because some of my friends think they will. I think they will give him a chance because on his day he's a really great manager, and I think that they will do a bit of turn round, you know, with Cal Wilson scoring more goals, and I think that they will climb up the table a little bit, maybe if they can be higher than 14, and you know I'm not sure if they will finish that 14th spot. But I have given them a good choice. I don't regret this one at all. I think they do have a really great chance to finish this position. So yeah, 14, great choice. So for 13, I put Southampton and they are currently 11th. And not bad prediction. I still think I can get this one right. Maybe if Ings get injured or any of their other star players. And maybe they might bottle a few games. We never know. And I haven't got anything else to say about them. But for now, I don't I kind of regret this one. The reason why is because I think they will definitely turn around in my opinion. I think they will finish much higher than this. Maybe a seventh spot, a Europa League spot. You never know. It's between like some of the big teams like Everton or all. Arsenal. They're climbing up a little bit. But yeah, I think I'm going to say this one's a regret. So for 12, I put Sheffield United and they are down the pile like 20. I don't know what's going to happen to them this season. But this one's a big regret for me. I'm not sure if they're going to actually climb the table that high. If they do avoid relegation, I would be really surprised because they're like, only have like eight points. And they did beat Man United, credit to them for doing that. And I want to give credit to Ryan for actually predicting them they'd finish 18th. And what a good choice there. I put them 12th, is that a joke? I mean, they were definitely a one season wonder. VAR was helping them a little bit. So they did get lucky last season. Now I understand how it was for Sheffield United fans. So yeah, this one's a regret. So for 11th, I put Burnley in there. 15th. That may sound a little bit far from the prediction, but despite them 
been near to the bottom. They have picked up a little bit of great form lately, beating Liverpool, which is a really great achievement, and they have two games in hand. If they beat them, they'll be 12. That will just be one point behind them. Uh, and yes, yeah, so we, I think I have to admit this one, and this one's a great choice for me. Most of these so far have been great choices, but will that be the thing for the whole prediction? We'll have to see about that. So yeah, we're moving on to the next one. So for 10, I put Everton and they are doing 7th doing great this season. When they were in the top at the very start of the season, I 1000% regretted this a lot. And now I have to admit that this one is a regret for me. I still think they can have a chance of reaching the top for this season. And I think that this could be a really great year for Everton and Angelotti. So this one, as I said, is a regret. So for 9th, I put Leicester and they are sitting third right now. And I did a big mistake on this because they are still one of the most underrated teams in the Premier League in my opinion. And that Leicester should be considered as a top 6 team in my opinion. So this one, you know the guys, it's a regret for me without a doubt. I think they have a great chance of finishing top 4 if they get lucky this time. So yeah, as I said, it's a regret. So well, for 8th place, I put Leeds United and they are currently sitting 12th right now. Not a bad season for them, a really average club in the Premier League. For my choice, I think this one's a regret. Even though they do score a lot of goals, they've got like 35 so far this season. It's just because there's loads of good teams in there that are fighting for the top 7 spot, top, six, like top 10, you know, and all that. So there's loads of good teams out there, Leicester, Everton, Wolves, etc. But yeah, for this one, I think this one has to be a regret. For 7th, I put Wolves and they are sitting 14th, which is double the position I predict them. It's mostly because Raul Jimenez is out for them. He does a lot for them, a lot for them. Adama Traore has been in terrible form. I don't think he's even scored in ages. He's got no goals, no assists this season so far. It's really a shame for him. I hope that Wolves Raul Jimenez gets speedy recovery and this one has to be regret, no doubt about it. For 6th place, I put Tottenham Hotspur and they are sitting 6th right now. It's great season for them. I do think they could get a higher spot if Kieran Son starts going a bit more and more, even though they do do a lot for the club. Honestly, they could maybe finish that 4th place, but for now, I think this one's going to be a good choice for me. They could still finish 6th. It's really a great chance they could because the top ones above them are quite bit, much better than them and the ones behind them, bottom them are just not as good enough as Spurs. So yeah, I think this one is going to be a good choice just for now. Moving on to fifth, I put Arsenal. They are currently sitting in 10th. That's another double the position I predicted them. Arsenal were in a relegation battle a few weeks ago. They were sitting 15th. Can Arsenal turn things around? I don't think so. They aren't a top six team anymore. So this one has to be the great. Leicester are now the new top six, part of the top six team. Arsenal are out of that top six team. In my opinion, guys, don't worry. Sorry Arsenal fans, but yeah, it's a regret for me. For fourth place, I put Liverpool, that's where they're exactly staying while recording this. It's great to get another prediction though, so far not just yet. Anyway, it's their form has been a little bit bad so far, losing to Burnley, but they did down win just Spurs there a while ago, a few days ago. So for me, this one is a great choice for me. I think they could finish it because the ones in the top are probably better forming them. Maybe they can keep it up. Liverpool are still a great team, by the way, guys. Don't get me wrong. They're one of the best ever to play in the football history. 99 points was really great. They didn't beat Man City's one, but they still had a really great season last year. So yeah, I think I'm going to go with a good Good choice here, they are finishing fourth. For third, I put Manchester United and they are sitting second right now. They just lost to Sheffield and drew to Arsenal. I could see them finishing a little bit higher than Liverpool because they have are quite few title contenders this season. It could be a tricky for United. They shouldn't be losing to teams like them. They should be winning against these uh, bad teams in the Premier League, Sheffield 20th down the bottom, they shouldn't be losing to these teams and for now I'm going to go with a good choice for now, third place just is one below where they're currently sitting, they are currently second, second as I said there, so yeah I'm going to go with a good choice for now because it's in between one of those two so there is still a great chance they can finish second, maybe a great chance third or maybe fourth or maybe the champions, we never know but for now I'm going to go with a good choice. For second place I put Chelsea, they are sitting seventh, that's three times the position I predicted them to finish. I don't really see anything happening. Don't see this happening. I don't see 
that them finishing second place. No way. Turco could help some players like Thiago Silva, Pulisic that they helped in Dortmund and PSG, Timo Werner and Kai Havertz because they're German, you know. But I still don't think it's enough for them to finish the top two. So this one for me is going to be regret. Don't get me wrong, Turco is a really great manager, PSG, I don't get why they sacked him, but anyway, this one has to be a regret for me, no doubt about that. Finally, first place, I put Manchester City, I was not being biased right now because they are currently sitting there, about they have always been title challengers for like the last few years, this year could be their year once again to win at the seventh time in their history, and this is an unbelievable form they're currently in. Stones and Diaz are great defenders, like Man City really needed in the January transfer window, but they didn't get it last year, but this summer they did, and now this one has to be a good choice for me. I think that we can still win the title here, and you know, we have done it again. Manchester City will win the Premier League, still in my opinion, I don't regret this at all because they're still first, they've got a game in hand as well, so Manchester City, you're winning the title and this one's a good choice. Now that's the end of the video, hope you enjoy, please give me more ideas in the comments guys, that will be really appreciated. The final score was 10 good choices and 10 regret choices, it was an okay decision so far, it's 50% so far, anyway hope you have a good day and I had a question. I forgot to tell you guys that somebody asked me what editing app I use. I use one called InShot, which is a really great one. It's a iOS app, I think. Sometimes I do use my computer. Anyway, so hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys later for the next video.